This is John for Global Woman Sports Radio. Today I have a very special guest. I have a fellow DePaul alumni, <laughs> Madison Fisher. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm good. I graduated DePaul just a few years, uh, like 30-something years before <laughs> you. But, you know, we're, we're all friends at DePaul. Yes. So let me start off by asking, how did you end up at DePaul? I know you're from uh, Minnetonka, or you played mm -hmm. with high school in Minnetonka. So how did you end up at DePaul? I did. My path to, to DePaul, at least DePaul softball, was kind of unique because I actually chose DePaul just based off of the school. I didn't plan on playing softball, so I was going to study. I originally thought I was going to study journalism, and then that summer before I arrived, I decided, you know, I feel like I'm going to miss softball. I'm just going to reach out to the coach and see what they have to say. And I got to do a tryout with Coach Lenti and with that staff, and they ended up taking me on as a walk-on. And so, yeah, that was sort of my journey to DePaul. So you did, that's interesting. You didn't go there for softball. Was softball yeah. ever a consideration uh, when you were picking colleges bef before DePaul came into the picture? You know, I was considering softball for a little bit, but I realized the schools that were recruiting me just didn't feel like didn't feel like home and it didn't feel like a place I wanted to spend four years of my life. And so that's sort of when I realized it's more important to me right now to choose school and location first. And then softball was sort of the second thought. So what was your most fond memory of playing softball at DePaul? I have so many fond memories. I really loved my time that I spent there. I think one that just stands out to me is my junior season, so 2019 in the Big East Tournament. I just, and especially that championship game, even though we were behind by many runs for a long time, I just remember this feeling of never having any doubts and that we were going to come back and just being so happy to be there with that team and that group of people. And so that day and that game are really um, a standout memory for me. Now, that was at, um, at the ballpark in Rosemont, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I was there. I was on the field uh, celebrating with you guys. I, I horned my way on the field to, you know, to, to do the <laughs> No, that was a fantastic game, man. And that, that's one that, like, if, if, if that's your first game of watching softball, you're going to be hooked forever on that. Yeah, that was lots of up and, ups and downs and exciting moments in that game. So. Now, what do you miss most about Chicago? I honestly just sort of miss the busy atmosphere and environment like sort of fast-paced feeling of Chicago I'm back home in Minnesota now and I love it here there's lots of like nature surrounding me and peacefulness but I sort of miss that fast-paced feeling and like taking the train to school every day and just things like that I miss a little bit and the food and the food fantastic <laughs> food you were named to the big. Uh, you were named at DePaul. You made the uh, all academic team. You won several several awards at DePaul. How cool was it for you when you're on the field? You're playing there. Uh, you originally didn't expect to be doing that, but now all of a sudden I'm on the field and this, you know, playing in front of friends and family and and whatnot. Yeah, it's it was amazing. I especially just because that wasn't the path I was expecting myself to go on when I emailed Coach Lenti. I did not expect him to reply, let alone to take me onto the team. And so in those last couple of years when I was winning the Big East Academic Award and I was on that field with people that I had become close friends with, it was just a really exciting feeling because I was so happy to be playing softball still and happy to be doing it with people that I loved surrounding me. Do you follow the uh, National Pro Fast Pitch or Athletes Unlimited or any of, the, any of the pro leagues? You know, probably not as much as I should. I think that Athletes Unlimited that they debuted a year or two ago is super exciting. I think it's exciting for softball to be able to sort of establish themselves in a professional, large stage like that. Um, but yeah, I, this year I definitely want to follow it closer than I did last year. And the Olympics, softball's back at the Olympics. Yeah, that's well, hopefully exciting. Hopefully we have one. But yeah. now moving, on, moving along to you, your post-DePaul career, you're, you said you're back in Minnesota. You're embarking on a career in the business field. 
But the, what attracted me to, to ask, asking for the interview was your uh, beautiful art, your beautiful illustrations. Yeah. Uh, could you talk a little bit about what you do? Yeah, so in school I studied public relations and advertising and then I have a minor in graphic design. And so design is something that I really love and I'm passionate about and I like having that creative space. Um, and so right now I'm sort of working as freelance designer and any marketing materials I'll create, but creating that Instagram account I was sort of nervous about it first because I don't usually share that stuff with my friends. I know like on the DePaul softball team, a lot of people study science and health. And so I don't have as many friends who are in the creative space, but then I created that account to just kind of show my friends more of what I do. And people have really responded really nicely to it. So that's always exciting. Well, one of the things I really liked about your stuff is, um, you, you've got, I saw really cool stuff you did for some of your uh, ex to ball teammates. Mm -hmm. And then I saw your work with business cards and logo designs. And it, it's all like different. There's, I, I can't look at it and go, yeah, she's got one, you know, clear style. It, it's kind of all over the board. It, it's a, a wide mm -hmm. variety. I really enjoyed that part of it. Yeah. I like to just, I don't really think I have a specific style. I just like to work in things that interest me. And so, Obviously, I love my friends, and so illustrating them is super fun, but then I also like thinking creatively about logo design and business cards and thinking about it from more of a business standpoint. I think that's super interesting as well. Is all your work done digitally, or do you do any freehand stuff? Um, I've been practicing my freehand. I'm not as strong in um, like pen and paper art, but I use mostly um, Adobe Creative Suite to design all my stuff. So is that where you started drawing or you started creating, illustrating this from on, uh, on uh, using programs or did you start using freehand? I started using programs. I first got interested in it in high school. I took a Photoshop class and that was a little bit more to do with photography, but using those programs and seeing how you can manipulate objects and images was sort of what got me hooked on design and art. Have you been any, have you been to any comic cons and through like artist alley and seen all the, the crazy wild cool stuff that those artists do? You know, I haven't, but I've seen some of it online and there's just so many talented people in the art and design world and they're just doing so many different things. And I think that comic con stuff is super interesting. Well, I've seen, I've been in uh, like a million comic cons and I've seen all the work. I've seen yours and I, I truly mean this. Your stuff is as good as, as any of the stuff out there. Oh, and thank I, you. I sincerely hope that you continue. I know you want a career in business and that's great. And I wish you a ton of success in that. I really hope you continue with the art because I think it's really cool, the stuff that you do. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's definitely something, if I'm not going to do it professionally, I want to maintain it as a hobby and keep doing it. So, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, that was my next question. So do you plan on, on taking the, the R2 to the next level at all, whether part-time um, or not? I mean, I've been doing it as freelance work, so I guess if that picks up, I would love that. I would think it would be super cool if that was something that took off and became a professional career. I don't necessarily have intentions or plans to do that right now, but if it happens, I think that would be super exciting. But you are open to commissions, correct? Yes, I am open to commissions. So if people want to find out more about you or find out where they could uh, talk to you about mm -hmm. doing a commission for them, where should they look? I think my Instagram, which is the at designs by fishy account, is probably the best place. If you want to DM me or send me a message about a commission, I will definitely get back to you. Um, I also have a portfolio a digital portfolio where you can send me chats, which is, I believe it's um, madfisher35.portfolio.com. But I think the Instagram is probably the best place. And do you do, you do anything, switching, um, switching topics back again, are you involved in the, in the world of softball at all now? Do you play in any rec leagues? Do you do, you do anything with softball? You know, since March, I've kind of been taking a break. Um, my mom is, this is sort of 
my sort of relation to softball. So my mom is a yoga instructor and she teaches classes for my old club team right now. So I kind of help her with that. But that's sort of my only connection to softball right now. I do plan to do some slow pitch or to do some summer leagues eventually, but I've been taking a break since I graduated. Well, again, I saw the work you did on your mom's business card. And and again, I thought that was very cool. Madison, I really, really appreciate your time. I wish you a lot of luck. I wish you a lot of success. Um, When you're really big in the art world, I hope you'll still remember me. We could do like a catch up interview at some point down the line. But I had a great time talking to you, and uh, I encourage everyone to check out Designs by Fishy on Instagram. You'll see some of her cool work, and you could ask her about doing stuff for you. So, Madison Fisher, I really appreciate your time, and, and thanks for a lot of cool memories on the, in the uh, following DePaul soft. I had a blast covering that team. Yeah, thank you. It means a lot that you are interested in my art and that you would take the time to speak with me. So thank you. And have a great afternoon, Madison. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you too. Thanks.